All right, this is going to be question number two from the 2006 A, B, and B, C exams. Um, and it's about cars making turns at, a, uh, at an intersection. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the function as it's shown. So that's going to be 60 and then the square root of um, t and then times and then sine of t over 3 and squared. All right, so uh, they've provided a graph, so a really good idea is to graph the function that you think you defined um, and see if you get the graph that they gave you. So I'm going to graph uh, L, except I, when you graph it, you have to graph it as a function of x. And let's change the window to um, roughly the window that they give you. So that'll be 0 to 18 and 0 to 250. All right, and that looks like the graph they gave me, so I'm pretty confident that I answered it correctly. Uh, always a good idea to check that. Um, first question, to the nearest whole number, find the total number of cars um, that turn left. So L of t is actually the rate at which they're turning to the left. So we know that if you integrate a rate, you get a total. So if I integrate L of t from 0 to 18, that's going to give me the total number of cars. I'm going to round that to 1658 because it says to the nearest car. Um, or it says to the nearest whole number. And the next one is telling me that traffic engineers will put a turn restriction if LT is greater than or equal to 150. All right, so I need to solve that. So let's go here. I'm going to add the line 150. And I'm going to find the intersection. So menu 6, intersect, boom, right there. And drag that over here. And then do it again intersection here and here and let's store these values so click on it control and then the var key to store store it as a I guess and click on it and then we'll store it as B all right so I have those um, so those are the values of T so between those two values um, L of T is greater than 150 and what I want to do is um, compute the average value over this time interval. So let's go back. Average value is the integral divided by the interval. So from A to B, L of T D, dt over B minus A. And I get um, 199.426. Uh, and that's going to be cars per hour. So the average value of L of T has to have the same units as L of T and L of T had units cars per hour. Um, so those are going to be your units there. And then the next question is about cars. Uh, I don't know. They just define some weird thing. Um, they tell you that in any given two-hour interval, 500 cars go straight. Um, and we want to know if the uh, product of the number of cars going straight and the number of cars making a left is ever greater than 200,000. So there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, if you go to the graph, uh, pretty much you're safe if you're guessing some values inside this interval. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try from 13 to 15 and see if that works out for me. So 500 times the integral from 13 to 15 of L of T dt. Uh, and that is in fact greater than 200,000. So since I've gotten something greater than 200,000, uh, they need to put in a traffic signal. And, uh, you know, that's basically it. You just had to come up with some interval, some interval that differs by two, um, where you get over 200,000 here. So maybe 12 and 14. Let's see what happens there. That doesn't work. So, um, I don't know. Maybe you can't just so easily guess it. Uh, 14 and 16 works. Um, but yeah, that's the basic idea. So, uh, we would conclude that we need a uh, traffic light. Anyway, this is how I'd use my calculator to solve this problem, and I hope you find this useful.